Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 20th to the 26th. I always forget. All right, let's see. For the 20th to the 26th of May, for my lovely Sagittarians out there, what is going on for them? Please, Spirit. Initial A is standing out for some reason. All right, here we go. So we have the here and now card asking for you to focus on this present moment. Don't worry about the past. Don't worry about the future. Sit with yourself right here, right now, because there is something, an opportunity, a door is opening for you where you are at. Okay. Sometimes when we get a little bit lost in the mind, we can actually miss out opportunities, be miss out on opportunities because we're a little bit too maybe you're overthinking whatever it means to you Sagittarius your head might not be in the right place to really actually see an opportunity for what it is or to even be present when it, it opens so something is asking you to kind of listen to your gut instinct you also have come to the edge as well which I always see this as a little bit of the the full card because it's about taking a leap of faith just like the full card can represent like starting a new journey um, which is great but it also does still have that naivety, you know, how the fall is looking up in the sky and taking a leap. So make sure that you know what it is that you're jumping into before you jump into it. And if it feels right, go for it. But don't just do it on a whim <laughs> because this lady's kind of running around and it looks like her foot is actually about to slip. So make sure you know what you are jumping into is what it feels like. <laughs> but let's see what that means for you some of you might know what that is already some of you might not but let's let's carry on and see then for Sagittarius this week the thinking woman so you don't have to be a woman to resonate with this even oh we also have strategy here which is really big so you guys could really be needing a strategy for this next chapter of your life i definitely am sensing a new beginning coming up just because of that come to the edge card i always say with this card actually that where you are right now is kind of crumbling you know you can't stay here for much longer whether that's an energy whether that's a job a location a home like whatever it is to you um, it's kind of crumbling, you know, there's not really much left of the situation, it's not kind of giving to you much, there's not really anything here, so inevitably, this is going to crumble so much that you will still have to go somewhere else, do something different, um, but having a strategy is very important, okay, uh, to move forward, the thinking woman is strategy is very, like, mercurial, to be honest, like, and Mercury kind of rules your thoughts, your ideas, communications. So this is all something that's coming up here. Maybe writing, maybe a journal here. So some of you could really benefit from journaling. It could actually help you to stay present and maybe actually come up with your own opportunity. I feel like for some of you, that's what it is. Like you could have an epiphany this week through building some sort of strategy, looking at, a, at books here. Like information is going to be very important for you. Um, for your future and where you need to go moving uh, moving forward we have a bit of a butterfly here which represents transformation um or is it a moth like you do have a little bit of this like not like it's a little bit of you're taking a leap of faith but make sure that you are you know but don't do it naively like there's a little bit of still a little bit of uncertainty about whether you're a butterfly or whether you're a moth to a flame so what that means and i don't want to i'm not insulting anybody i don't want you to feel triggered about what i'm saying because you get to decide that is it something that you're going okay now i'm going to go into this as a caterpillar now i'm going to go through this transformation process of myself change who i am so that when i move forward i can spread my wings and fly um or are you looking at, yeah, I don't know what it means. There's a difference between a butterfly and a moth, especially in terms of like the spiritual meanings in general. I feel like we all want to be a butterfly. We don't want to be attracted to danger, thinking it's something that's going to save us when it's not. Same with this leap of faith. There's clearly a new beginning you guys are excited for. 
the plan is so important. The details are so important. Otherwise, you might end up jumping into a situation that you were not planned for and therefore it's a moth to a flame situation. So again, I'm only saying it to make you aware. I'm only saying it for those who it resonates with. You'll know it will give you a little bit of, ah, okay, thanks, Etta. Uh, and hopefully it doesn't trigger you. So anyway, the thinking woman, either you are getting advice from someone here who can help you or this is you needing to dive deep into the strategy, into information so that it will actually help you in this new chapter. All right, let's get you some more. All right, we have some rejection here. Usually this represents a bit of a fear of other people's opinions. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but it's like stuck to my finger there. Um, Sometimes rejection can actually help us to understand what we need to do. He's painting here and he is listening to what people are saying about his other paintings and going, okay, maybe I can do this a bit better. Sometimes it's good to listen to constructive criticism. Other times people are just going to hate for the sake of hating. It's up to you to decipher okay, does this resonate with me? Does this criticism, is this something I would say to myself? Is this something I do believe in too? Like, are they right? Or is this something that is just completely someone else's projection? Um, it's just their opinion. It doesn't resonate. Like, be aware. Rejection can be good. It can be protection. It can also tell us what we need to do better. Other times, um, we might just be focusing too much on what other people think and not enough about what you think. Okay, and don't be afraid to stand out. But uh, let's carry on with the, uh, to see what this is talking about. Also, don't let the fear of rejection get in your way of actually creating something. And I, I mean that specifically creating something, whether it's a new beginning or whether it's actually a project. Because I feel like this painter... Another story I'm getting from this is that he's so like consumed in other people's judgments that he's he's kind of having a bit of like a writer's block or creative block um, and fear of actually creating something because of what people might think. So again, focus on the present, focus on how you feel, focus on the strategy, what you want. Maybe ask for people's opinions if you feel that you need it, depending on what it is you're creating. Um, but use your own judgment this week is very important. Let's get one more. You have prayer. Ask and you shall receive. Uh, and when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. There's almost like the this, not theory, but there. what I'm being shown mentally is that you're praying for something. You're praying for lemonade, which is a drink. It's a beverage, right? It's liquid. But you're kind of being given lemons. So it's almost like spirit is saying I can only give you so much. It's up to you to do the rest. It's very similar to magician energy of what I'm seeing actually because the magician is wanting something and is being given the elements, like the ingredients to create it. But it's up to the magician to actually create it. It doesn't just land in your lap. A house doesn't just come into like right in front of you. You kind of have to use what you have, your resources, what you're being given already have to kind of create something for yourself here. Same as like lemonade. So from your challenges, make something out of it. Um, Cause that something that you make out of it can actually help lead you to a dream. Some of you might need to hear that. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, let's get you some more. Let's get you a keyword for the week. Denial, I'm gonna get you one more. You have two more, right? And success, I love that. So denial here is a, uh, an affirmation for you guys this week is I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Amazing. Indecision says I use my intuition in all aspects of life. How do we do that? We become centered and focused um, and success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. So make sure that your success is based on doing something that you love Okay, and not the approval of others because not everyone will approve. And if someone doesn't approve of what you love, does that mean that you have to change it and do something that you don't love to do just because someone said so? No. All right, I do have some random messages because everyone's been missing the tea leaf tarot, so I'm going to pull that out now. For my lovely Sagittarians, please spare it this week. Right. We have a woman again. So there is clearly either that's you or it could be someone around you. Okay, we got maybe too many cards here. We have a goal oriented person. Oriented. Goal oriented. I always say that word wrong. 
<laughs> person. So you guys, uh, this is a target here. So this feels like you will achieve what it is that you're planning to get here. It's like a bullseye here. So what you aim for, you will get. So make sure what you're aiming for is the good. Okay. Make sure that you are very, again, specific with your strategy and what you're trying to manifest. Cobweb here says that you're protected from negative forces beyond your control. You do have the month of September being important. You have pay attention to your work. You have some excitement coming up here. You have an egg, success assured with good plans and hard work. Career being important for you guys. The first card was woman, okay? Dealing with a relationship with a woman. And you do have here someone working against you behind your back. So for some of you, you know, that woman could be building a strategy about you, but it, you know, it doesn't have to be for everybody. You could just have a hater and, and you know, that's whatever. All right, let's carry on for you guys, my angels. So something about your career. Some of you could be changing career. I do see that being important for you. Overall energy, please, for Sagittarius, their energy this week. You're in the Queen of Cups too. Aries had this. Could be definitely in your feelings. This week doesn't have to be a bad thing. This is feeling very sensitive and very emotional, which is not bad at all. There is a blessing with having a big heart and being an empath. Just when it comes down to caring too much about what other people think, you're going to have to place some boundaries with your emotions. But that's about that. You know, when you're an empath, it's very hard. That is a lesson we have to learn as to how, how to rein it in. Um, let's cl clarify this. The moon. Oh, God. <laughs> The moon can represent your subconscious and it is also about what rules your emotions here. So I don't know if there is some sort of like subconscious fear that you guys are kind of actually going through. You could be feeling a bit lost in your feelings and emotions here, but it's a really good time to analyze it, meditate on it, understand where it's coming from. Because the moon is really about distortions. You know, it's about the kind of subconscious stuff, um, like the things that we tell ourselves that aren't necessarily true. Uh, and again, maybe things that make us feel quite upset. I feel like you are kind of processing that or having to this week. Why is the moon here? The strength. There's strength in emotions. This is Leo energy. Okay, there is strength in... Oh, I, okay, right, sorry. Some of you could be saying to yourself, like, I used to be so strong or I used to be this or maybe you're wishing you were stronger emotionally. But the strength card actually, you know, usually has a maiden and a lion. I, you have two elements to yourself. Everyone does. You have this beast mode and uh, that knows how to conquer and to survive and how to to push and to, you know, um a lion is to show strength, to show confidence, is to be, you know, assertive, it's to be feared, <laughs> almost, you know, king of the jungle energy, but there's also a maiden, and the maiden is teaching the lion compassion, and understanding, and care, and, and nurturing, and the lion is teaching the maiden strength, confidence, so it's almost like you have two sides to yourself, maybe you felt more like the maiden lately, and maybe you're seeing that as a weakness, but the moon is being here is like being in this energy right now is actually quite important for you because you're you're actually uncovering a lot of things that may have been blocking you before um you know i'm just sensing it don't see it as a weakness if you're feeling emotional this week there is strength in that in fact you can help others with that you can understand yourself with that you can heal yourself by understanding maybe some suppressed feelings and emotions that are coming up here Okay, the moon and strength are both major arcana cards. So you're going through a very big shift when it comes down to the, those aspects of yourself. Okay, um, you know, this person here is actually grabbing the bull by the horns here. So for some of you, instead of trying to avoid feeling a certain way, you're going to have to grab it with strength, you know, and uh, assert yourself over a certain emotion that might be making you fearful of something here. The moon always shows a path you being the lobster, saying that you're protected, you have armor around you, whatever you feel afraid of, you're protected already, and we had that already in your tea leaf tarot too, as long as you are assertive and assert yourself moving forward, you're protected, okay, just keep going, right, what's the blockage for you guys this week then, justice card, it could be legal situations or again, something that's a challenge for you is bringing something into balance, Libra and energy as well, okay, you have the ace of pentacles and I just didn't get to see that one before it went 
Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, the foundations, very similar to a strategy. All right, you have the Ace of Pentacles. These are in your blockage position. So again, it's just something that's a bit of a challenge for you this week is to bring something into balance that you're building. Ace of Pentacles, again, is representing a new beginning, either in terms of your stability, your finances, or your career life. Um, the way that you make money, the way that you find stability. Three of Pentacles is also about planning. It's actually about um, building something, okay? Creating space to be able to build something here. So the justice, again, maybe you're having to deal with legal situations for a business that you're opening, or maybe you're having to deal with past contracts so that you can actually move into your own thing or into a new contract, whatever it is. There is a challenge here, but justice is in the upright. So that tells me that there is fairness coming through, there is stability coming through, but you're in the process of like sorting something out within yourself or within your external environment too, okay? But the Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles is really good for you about having a really stable new beginning moving forward, but the strategy is really important. Having um, a plan is very important for you guys. To know what it is that you're jumping into is very important. And getting the legal stuff out the way, I don't know what you're doing, uh, or just making sure it's balanced. All right, next thing that we have is your advice for the week. The seven of pentacles, patience. Um, you know, this is about nurturing something to life practically. Uh, you may not see the work that you're doing and, you know, how it might be working in your favor for your future, uh, but it is. Okay, both of these are about things that take some time to actually really show fruit for you. So, you know, pregnancy, you have to wait nine months. You can't rush. To, there's nothing you can do to rush the process. It's just something of what you're bringing to life, it, what it needs. Uh, the same with a tree. And it needs a certain amount of time so it can grow. So, again, if you're working on your own business or maybe even a relationship, whatever it is that you're trying to build for it to bring longevity into your life or whatever, it's going to take some time to actually get the results out of it that you want, whether it's financial results, whether it is actually just seeing it reaching a milestone or whatever, but it doesn't mean you give up, it doesn't mean that you stop doing it. You have a lot of pentacles here, by the way, so very much to do with, again, the things that bring you stability, your resources, whatever. Um, as long as you are nurturing it, the tree needs water, right? Uh, that baby needs food that's inside of her and, you know, good energy, I don't know. It's about what you're bringing to something will pay off. You may not see how it's paying off, but it absolutely is, okay? So your advice is to keep going with something. Maybe we have to reassess something if we're starting to see symptoms or things not working out, then we change things up, but don't give up on something is what I want to say. That's your advice. Okay, you also have the Knight of Swords and the Hierophant. Again, uh, I'm hearing like there's a risk of impatience. The Hierophant is also about devotion and when you are dedicated to something. Um, this is also about like leveling up and ascending. But Knight of Swords and the Hierophant, as advice, again, don't rush into something or rush out of something. I have, some of you might need to hear that. The Hierophant is about... Um, kind of learning a lesson of some sense through devotion or through some sort of like maybe you guys are working on your spirituality working on your beliefs working on a relationship don't rush it don't jump to conclusions with it don't be too harsh with whatever this is that you're building i don't like the knight of swords in this case some of you could receive information or communication this week but with this sense again it's just really about not being impatient or not running with this. If you're feeling indecisive this week, use your intuition. Don't just rush something. If you don't know what your intuition is saying, then sit with it. <laughs> then just run with it. Sit with it. Okay? Um, yeah. I feel like you guys are really kind of challenging your own beliefs about yourself. And that clearly has been a bit of a challenge with the moon because there's been a lot of maybe again talking down to yourself internally like doesn't or not believing in yourself like that's changing you are putting work towards something towards yourself towards your future it's going to pay off for you night of swords just be aware of this energy whether it's people around you we did have somebody who might be trying to 
maybe even create doubt, create fear, or try to come in and distract you from something that you're building and dedicating yourself to. Don't listen to the haters. Don't listen to any harsh communication or something that's trying to rush you. I would say to block out external um, people at this time if they are criticizing just for the sake of it. Like sometimes this is just a very angry person who wants vengeance. Block it. Block it out. Okay. Anyway, my angels, that's what I have for you. I hope it makes sense to you. Please let me know in the comments if it does resonate. Make sure you like and subscribe as well. If you want to, of course, it would help me out and I'd love to have you here. Um, but anyway, I wish you guys all the best. I send you my love and I hope to see you guys next time. All right.